Okay, it's going to be a quick recording on uh, setting up or sending sending links to assignments in Schoology. Control roll the mouse to enlarge that link to Sway or other in Schoology assignment. For example, Control V, I've got a YouTube link that's a video I have up there but suppose I have a sway that I want to uh, submit as my assignment well it's alt tab over to Firefox here and I'll sign into Schoology remember you can get to Schoology by typing in the link itself that takes you right there or you can also add another tab you can also go to navigator navigator .edu and you have all your links to Populi, email. Notice that as I hover over that, you'll see down in the lower left the actual address showing up. So you could just go to mail.google.com or Schoology. There it shows. Uh, oh, look at that. I expect it. Oh, there's a mail.schoology.com. But let's go ahead to, well, let's go ahead to Schoology. Or Schoology, how you want to say it. There's my fake student user. I'm going to log in. And this fake student, Jay Smart, has an assignment. He needs to put it enter into CS101. He can go over to his assignment settings. And let's just go over to the uh, assignments down here. And we'll go down to the, let's say, the one that we had had a Sway newsletter. Pretend I have a Sway. I'm just going to put the YouTube link in there. I have submitted some revisions. But I can say, you know, I've I gave it the wrong link or yeah I gave it the wrong link you don't have to resubmit it if the link is okay but you've just updated your sway go to submit assignment or resubmit if there's something over there now if I don't have anything to upload I could write a note here nothing to upload on the create tab is where you would be submitting links and you'll just say this is link to my to my I'll call it my video. I have a video link. Could just as well be a sway link. Now I'll, I can also paste the URL, Control V, and there's the link. Now that's nice to be able to see the link, but I'd rather be able to click on it. So let's just highlight the text and come over here, insert link, and then the link URL, I paste that link to the website. I copied it from the share over in YouTube. Any text can be selected and made to be an active link by clicking link and pasting the URL. You can have multiple links take you to the same place. Now those both are links and then I submit my homework and when my instructor sees it they will see something like this. They'll see oh I uploaded this and my instructor could then link to my video and there's the wonderful video showing up. Okay and I can close that and now I have my viewing of the draft that I posted I can close that because I don't need to see it that's just getting a view of what the instructor would see when they came to grade my paper so there you have it. let's do it one more time just for practice here say we're gonna submit an assignment that we have a link to I'm going to create here is my assignment the link URL is and I'll paste it and I'll make it a live link and I'll just call it click here to go to it to page and I select the text insert content link paste the URL right there control V and I can also make this take me there as well anytime you highlight text insert content link see how the title is what I had highlighted the URL where it takes me is with the website it doesn't matter what this text is it's the URL part is what takes me there and I don't want to buy that and I'm done submit okay that's the end of that video I'm going to stop recording and upload it to my YouTube channel